All right, welcome everyone. Uh, my name is Mohammed, and I just kind of wanted to do this tutorial, quick tutorial on the basics of, you know, Bluebeam review, review. And so let's just jump into it. So first thing you're going to want to do is, you know, you want to work in this sample drawing. So you're going to go to help, welcome to review, and you can open that sample drawing I was talking about. So we're just going to be messing around in here and it's great because you can do what you'd like and kind of explore all the features. Okay, so let's just go for it. So this is kind of the workflow that we have. Um, the first thing I'm gonna mention is this grid. Okay, so you can kind of turn this off, show the grid, and you can kind of snap to grid if you'd like. Uh, I'll talk about that more later on. Um, so kind of have these toolbars at the top, at the right, at the left, it can look a lot, but it can look like a lot but it's not that bad. So on the left here, you kind of have like thumbnail, bookmarks, et cetera. You have these toolbox, some layers. Um, we'll talk about that later, maybe in another video. Um, studio, so kind of like for sessions where a bunch of people can collaborate on the same document and mark it up and such. So here you also have all the pages that you, that you have in the document. You know, you can copy a page, you can paste it, um, <clears throat> you can go ahead and rename something or, or uh, rename the page label, for example, we'll call this, uh, you know, page two, page two. Okay, and then once you change it there, it's gonna change here as well from the bottom. Um, so let's talk about some of these things. So here on the bottom left, you know, you can have your split view, uh, top and bottom, something like that. Um, and uh, you can press this one to have a full page or I like to use the continuous scrolling one when you have multiple pages. Um, so over here, you can have this scroll hand. I don't really use that one. I kind of use the select and my scroll wheel. Um, so, you know, you can, you can scroll uh, in and out by pressing control. So you can zoom in with the scroll wheel. You can also click the scroll wheel and just move your mouse to move the document itself. Um, down here, you can also just press the zoom if you'd like. Uh, let's say I'm in this view and I scroll here, I can press this to snap to the previous view I was looking at, okay? So first thing, you know, if you're working in a document and you wanna, which most of the time you wanna set the scale. So down here at the bottom right, you can click that. You can click that, there we go and the calibrate button over here. So it's gonna ask you to select two points. So let's go for something we know. This door, this door is usually three feet. So we'll just go ahead and enter three feet right there, apply scale. And so now if I go ahead and I wanna measure something, I can press M for the measure tool um, and I can measure you know, a distance from here. I can hold shift and then it'll give me about 9.5 feet, okay? <clears throat> Talk more about that uh, in another video. Another cool neat feature you can use up here is this edit text. So you can press that and then you can kind of select something or edit it from a document, which is pretty neat. Um, just press escape to get out of there. Okay, um, what else do we have on the bottom here? Um, this erase content's pretty neat. And you'll notice, you know, some of these buttons are kind of multiple everywhere. You can access it, you know, from various places. So just choose whatever whatever you'd like. So erase content's pretty neat. You can kind of, you know, erase something on a PDF like that. If you don't want it there, just control Z to bring it back. Um, so let's just talk about some of these everyday things that you'll be using. So up here, you can add a text box and you can type something. And then you can also change the fonts up here. And the color, the style, you can do all these nifty little things, line spacings, etc. cetera. Um, you can also press this auto size text. So that way, you know, if you decide to resize this, it'll automatically resize the text for you. <clears throat> another little thing you could do is if you want to, you know, create another text box, you can, instead of doing copy, paste, yada, yada, you can just click it, press control, and then click the drag, and you can create these copies, which is really neat. 
Um, so there's a lasso tool, which is shift O and you can just select them all like that. And let's say I want to, you know, you can bulk shift, you can do bulk actions. So up here in the top left, you have these kind of alignment tools that, that you can utilize. Um, you know, if I want to align all the middles together, boom, they're all aligned. And then say I want to space them out evenly, I can use this distribute uh, horizontally. And so now you see like they're all pretty much have uh, the, exact, the spacing is right. So again, if you want, you know, like the lasso tool, you can find them, you know, in multiple spots. Uh, if you go to edit lasso, it's right there, shift O, okay? Or you can just do it on the keyboard. Um, if you want to delete something, you can make sure you have this selected. You can just press down, right click to the left. It'll select everything. Or you can use that lasso tool I just talked about. Oops, go like that and just delete everything. All right. So that's kind of the text box. You can also do rectangles. So all these shapes here. So if you just press R or click that, you can create a rectangle. And you can, like we just did, put a text box in there, yada, yada. You can auto size it. And then let's say we want to group these things together. So you can press on the first item, then press shift, select the second one. And when you right click, you can go down here to group. If you click that, it's kind of makes these little nice groups where you can move them all together and play with them. And what you can do as well is you can flatten this onto the PDF. So let's say you want to create a stamp or something and you don't want it to change um, ever at all. So what you can do is right click, flatten, and that kind of rolls it onto the, think of it as you're like rolling something onto the PDF, onto the paper, and you know now you can't edit it. So it's there forever. And let's say you messed up and you want to get rid of it and it's too late, you can't go back to unflatten it. Um, well, what you could do is click this little erase content button and you can click that and there you go, it's gone. So just be careful when you flatten something, you know, just make sure that that's never gonna change, okay? You can also use this pen to mark something up. Uh, you can use a highlighter as well to highlight something. And let's see what else we got. Let's erase these things. So over here you can cloud, you know, let's say I wanna cloud this section Okay, I did my markups and now I want to, you know, utilize some of these things up here so you can change the, the width. If you want that to be thicker, just put it to five, for example, you can have a fill color. Oh, that's too much, I can't see nothing. So what you could do is change the opacity here. Let's put it to 50%, okay? And then if you click this little settings button over here, it'll pop up for you. There we go. Where's the other one? Let's measure. Okay. All right, anyways. Um, what you could do is um, you can also change the color over here, the line color. And, and yeah, so you can do that. So let's keep going. Then you have these callouts, which are kind of like what you see here. You can just create it, you know, create something. And then uh, if you wanted to, you can change the line, how you want it to appear. So if I want to be, you know, dotted line, for example, or something like that. Um, you can also, you know, insert an image, something like that. Um, you can use these other tools to mark something up. You know, I want to create a line in this room, something like that. Um, what you could do is you can, because your lines are not going to be straight if you just press it and do like that. So if you just hold shift, it'll make sure it's, you know, straight. Okay, let's say you want to do multiple lines, you can click this polyline, so shift N, and that way you can, again, create whatever type of shape line that you want. Okay, and just double click or press enter and it'll stop. Um, you can also use, for example, uh, let's say you wanted to, well, you can add these different shapes for you. Let's say we have arrows, we have, uh, you know, arcs, you can do things like that. Uh, all these shapes that we talked about. 
But for example, let's say uh, I want to, you know, copy paste this, this item here, you know, there's this neat little snapshot tool that you can select or just press G so I can select what I'd like. And then once it goes, so how you saw, it goes kind of blue and then it snaps out, that means it's been copied. So just press control V and it'll paste it. Okay. And what I like to do when I do something like this is just go over to here, the top to colorize. Uh, yeah, so colorize and then choose the color you'd like, process image, okay. So now you see it's in red and it's a perfect replica. So just be careful not to like, you know, uh, on the trademarks and stuff like that, copyright. Um, so what you could do is also up here, you could do these flip horizontal, flip vertical. It's pretty, pretty fun. You might need it sometime. Okay, um, so that's kind of the basics I wanted to run through. Uh, we can go through a bit more if you'd like. So we have this grid, like I mentioned before. This is useful, particularly uh, when you want to, you know, things to snap to the grid. So if I create this, this uh, rectangle, you see it snaps to the line I want, which is useful, but I can turn that off. Sorry about that. Just, uh, okay, so what you could do if you go to review preferences uh, and you go here, grid and snap, <clears throat> you can select the spacing, the grid spacing that you'd like. So 0 0.25, let's say. And um, once you, you can also snap to grid selection here. It's basically those two buttons. So, okay. And you see that the grid will change uh, basically what I, what I set it, okay. So you can also press down here, this button for scrolling or full page, continuous scrolling. You can split the screens if you wanted multiple things at the same time. Um, that's way too much. There we go. Uh, what you could do actually is when you have these two and you want to, um, let's say you're marking up one document, comparing it to another and you want to um, sync them. So you can go here, view, and then sync page. So what that does is let's say I move this page or I zoom in, it'll actually zoom in on the same location. So that means I can mark up one document, you know, let's say I highlight something on this one, you know, that's all good, it's check mark. Okay, well now since it's the same document, it'll mark it up on both, but you get the point. So that's that's pretty neat uh, feature. Okay, there's some other things that you'd like up here that you can play around with all these tools. I'll get into it maybe later on. Um, what you could do is if you want a list of shortcuts, you can go to help keyboard shortcuts guide. And these are the shortcut guides for all the, for all these little uh, tools that are available to you. So I suggest printing that out, just those three first three pages and you can go through it. Uh, let's see what else we've got uh, that I can show you quickly. If you're somebody who likes to see, for example, when you want to create a snapshot, you can select this tool, uh, full screen crosshair. So it just shows the line. So if I press G to snapshot, you can see I can kind of line up exactly what I want. There we go. You can just turn it off uh, by saying, clicking it again. Uh, let's see if there's anything else we can add in here quickly. So the last little tool I showed you just there, PDF content. So erase content was right there. <clears throat> Um, yeah, flatten and flatten. Just be careful with that one. Tools, so all your tools, you can find them here or in the top right bar. You can add hyperlinks, you can add pictures, you can add attachments. So those things can get to on later. Um, but yeah, so just play around with it. Open up this, uh, this PDF document. So again, welcome to review. It'll open up, you can have a sample drawing right there and you can mess around with it. So, so I hope this video helped. Uh, hopefully I'll make some, some more in detailed ones, but that's kind of the basics to get you started and up and running. So just play around with it. All right, thank you.